Welcome everyone. Adam DeWoo here. As the recording of this, it is Tuesday, June the 13th, 2023. Wearing an appropriate shirt and hat because I am going to see the Tampa Bay Rays tonight in Oakland, California, 355 miles one way from where I am right now in the parking structure at my hotel in Hollywood. And the fun fact is I have to go up there watch the game, turn around and come back here because I already had this hotel booked. But today is a historic occasion for baseball and for the Oakland days, even though I am rooting for the Rays, I will be there to document and experience one of the most interesting games, dare I say festivities and events that's taking place in Oakland in a long time. I'm inviting you to join me. I gotta get going. It's about 8 a.m. First pitch is at 6.40. The tailgating begins around 3. Join me. Got a long way to go. Round trip, shall you? Hopefully traffic is very kind. This is a very impulsive last minute trip up here. Just decided two days ago when I kind of caught wind of this event was going on that I was going to head up this direction. Very impulsive. Looks like it's going to be a really good drive. Stopping off at the first little stretch of the day. I think that's for like for ashtrays there. Are any payphones here? Oh my gosh. There are actual payphones here. Three of them. I was not expecting Free pay phones. Oh, it's like the drink and snack machines. have been incarcerated over here. I don't know what they did, but it's probably pretty bad. Just to give a little paraphrase, calm context on what's gonna be happening at the Oakland Coliseum when I get there. So on a Tuesday, as a recording of this, their average attendance for their baseball games is about three to 4,000 people. They have the worst attendance in baseball, kind of comparable to Tropicana Field. And, and their turnout, even though the Rays are doing really good right now, so their attendance has gone up. But in the past, people don't really show up for the team. The difference between the Rays and Oakland is most of the fans there have not gone to support the team, not because they do not love baseball, but because there is discrepancies and they do not care for the current owner. So they have not been going, but they are reversing that today and proving a point that there are fans of the Oakland days and they're going to show up in droves. They want to fill the stadium. I don't think the stadium will be a sellout, but from what I was reading online and listening to, they are projecting 20,000 people five times the normal amount that you would see in the Coliseum on a Tuesday. Now, not a lot of time to stop because I got a lot of miles to cover, but I always like this place, Bravo Farms over here. It's just kind of a unique spot off of the freeway. Got a windmill there. There's a, a shack up top there, water wheel. Got the self-pumping gas nozzle and very inexpensive gasoline. I'm being very sarcastic. $6.87. Rest assured, this is. I'll have a coffee now. I'll go to the game later. And I'm sure on the way back, 335 miles back to Hollywood, I will need another one, so. Cheers to the first coffee of this, probably a 24 hour day by the time I woke up, by the time I get back to my hotel later. Cheers. So here's some of the info. Again, this is just going off what is posted uh, on the web. So June 13th, get your tickets. Join us to voice frustration about the A's ownership at MLB. Supporters of the Oakland Athletics are calling on all baseball fans, that's me, to support us on our ongoing battle with the team's neglectful and irresponsible ownership. Again, this, this is going off of what is stated here. I hope to get a little more info when I get there. There's gonna be a tailgate happening as well, and they're gonna be giving away the t-shirts over here in lot B. Again, more info when I get there. Hope to talk to the people, give me some more info about what's really going on. Down the road a little bit, pulling into one of my favorite spots, was a little bumpy favorite spots when making the commute from LA to San Francisco, Anderson's Pea Soup Restaurant. 
Now, I will not be dining in, don't really have the time for that, but one thing I'll do occasionally when I pass through this area is I'll buy a, a small case of the canned Anderson pea soup, crushed soup. Keep finding more info about this event. So they're wanting everyone to be as loud as possible. The last dive bar is a nickname given to the Coliseum because when you're in there, it feels like you're in the, the last dive bar. First batter at the beginning and top of each inning, they want everyone to, you know, all the, all the A's fans are gonna, are gonna be chanting, sell the team, sell the team. First batter at the beginning of the bottom of each inning, say stay in Oakland, clap five times. For the first batter at the beginning of the top of the fifth inning, to honor 55 years in Oakland, everyone stand up, be completely silent for the entire at night. I made pretty good time. It's 2.40 right now. There's actually a concert going on at the other venue here on the property. But notice how the sign says rooted in Oakland since 68. And I don't know all the ins and outs and all the kind of red tape and the behind the scenes on the whole situation, but it pretty much just proves that any team is not always constantly going to be in the same spot forever. And you have, you know, you have uh, the diehard fans have been around for a long time and this place means a lot to us. So I could totally get where a lot of people are coming from. I really can. And there's an incredible amount of history here. You know, I think back to like the Bash Brothers, Conseco, Mark McGuire, the Moneyball era, all that, and a lot more. But those are the first two things that come to my mind as a baseball fan when I think of the stadium. And obviously I'm rooting for the Rays, but if the Oakland A's were to win tonight, I wouldn't be too bummed. This is kind of their last hurrah. They are not making it to the postseason. Well, it's a really good chance they're not making it to the postseason this year. And who knows if they're even going to play here next year. So this might be the biggest attended game that this team will have until, the well, probably the last game when they finally announce the last game in here. But in a lot of ways, this is the Oakland A's last hurrah attendance-wise. One thing that's nice about this is you got the train station that drops off right here at the stadium. And you can see where it says rooted right down there. And Roscoe, Soul Train is here. Yeah, Daddy. Local resident, kind of sort of local. Pretty close. You're pretty close. You're close wearing enough. you're wearing full on Oakland gear, old school Oakland gear. 100. Committed to excellence. So if the A's leave, it'll be the third team that Oakland has lost. Pro team. Yeah, it's pretty sad. It's really sad, actually. I have a lot to say about it, but as a fan of sports like yourself, Adam. Yeah. It's. Uh, can you imagine if your favorite team just decided to just dip out and go to Vegas? Yeah. And I would understand to a certain extent, but being like a hardcore fan of a team, it's yeah. almost like being a part of a cult. It's a bummer. It's a big bummer, yeah. yeah. It's a loss for Oakland, it's a loss for the Bay Area, and it's, I'm, I'm pretty buttered about it, even though I'm not a hardcore baseball fan. Yeah, you're a hockey guy. Hockey guy, yeah. So I can't even imagine, I just put myself in the shoes of the fans of the Oakland A's, and I, which I know a lot of, yeah. and uh, yeah, heartbreaking to say the least. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty wild. These are the seats from some of the upper decks of the Coliseum right there. I'm not sure what section it was, but they're just like sitting over here, rotting away back in, back here around the back. Look at that. One thing that's kind of interesting too that I'm excited about, the drummers are back for one night only. They, the drummers have not been here at the Coliseum this year. And now they have returned and they will be out, I believe it's in right field. So I want to like kind of show them too. So they've been making some noise out there and right. All right, I want to introduce Dylan from Something or Other Tour. Yep. I met you last time I was out here last yeah, year. Dude, we had a good time. The Rays came back and won. They did. That, yeah, that you was got exciting. some good. You got some good excitement on my end in your video. Yeah, yeah I think that was the most excited I've ever seen you. <laughs> All right, they got the cornhole out here. All right, incoming. Oh, damn it. And as of right now, I think I'm the only one, for obvious reasons, wearing blue and raised gear, but I got my shirt. I'm sitting right behind Ray's dugout also. Got cheer cards the for the game, guys. Okay, cool. 
Yeah. Anyone needs one? Let yeah, me share card, Alex. There you go, get it, grab it. Alex is here. There you go, you got the cheer card. These shirts are going fast. You got your shirt? Yeah, I got the XL, you know. Nice. I need to uh, hit the treadmill like you were doing. <laughs> you got your shirt? I think they only have extra large and large. All right, I want to introduce you to Gabe. He runs a YouTube channel called Gamer Athletics, right? Yes, that's and right. And you just hit 5,000 subscribers. I did. 5K. Yeah. On this, uh, well, you call this a historic day. Yeah. Give me a little information about this event that's going on. Uh, well, as uh, many of you may know, the A's are uh, planning on trying to leave, and we're, today is an important day because we're just trying to voice our frustrations and prove to the world that there are A's fans here. And I mean, if this doesn't show for it, I mean, I don't know what will. Right. We raised over five, twenty-five thousand dollars to raise uh, to get uh, over seven thousand shirts here to do our own giveaway. And I mean, sell the team, John. Do the right thing. I mean, what else? What so else basically, what you're saying, you would rather the owner sell the team so the team can, so another owner can keep them in Oakland, versus them going to Vegas. That is correct. That's that's what the that's what the sell means, correct? That's what the sell means. Okay, and, gotcha. You know, whether they do leave, whether this, you know, whether they leave or stay, we just want to make a point that there are ace fans here we do care and we're gonna prove that tonight gotcha good to see you man good to see you. there you go you got the clown nose on there <laughs> thanks man there you go now watch out for the wind thank you all right right over here getting off of the subway area a's belong in oakland for our city for our team forever and the 68s from the team started. That's the organization that's kind of putting a lot of this on too. Yeah. They even got a little stanchions and everything over here too. Look at that. Look at how many people are in here. C green cell shirts. They even got some old Raider flags there as well. And the athletic flags waving in the breeze. Very nice weather out here too. <laughs> Thank you. So you got married here when Oakland was playing the Rays how many years ago? That's 25 years ago this year. 25 years we ago. We come to the A's game unless, it's, unless they're out of town every September 5th. My, my anniversary. Uh, you, have a lot, you have a lot of memories here. A lot of memories. Oh, all right. Well, nice to meet you. Thank you. Seiko, McGuire, no, late 80s. Like, if you don't want to stay here, no problem. You, you got to sell to, there. Like, save yourself and save whatever you got going on. Sell the team. I mean, you got opportunity coming. Don't take it from us. Uh, you know, we want you here. We want everybody to be here. We want everybody to be happy here, but you can't tear us away from us. We do, we do everything we can to stay. Forget it. Continue to flow. 
get what you put in. You know, we're here all the time. I'm still a season ticket holder. I, w- I want to fight. I will fight here. I'll stay here and everything else. But we need here. Give us a gates are about to open so you can see how people are still down there I want to head in and get the get the vibe in the stadium now there's a lot of people over at the tailgate here. all right I have purchased my meal of the day I'm going with the A's helmet nachos uh, they had pulled pork but I opted for the shredded chicken I believe it'd be grilled chicken shredded grilled chicken and yeah, this is a uh, this will be my meal here and a couple bottles of water as well, a little uh, Dasani here. Your cheese runneth over right there. Very nice. <laughs> helmet nachos Anything so down in my helmet for the win. Cheers. Cheers. All right. I wonder what Alex, what about, what if you got nachos? Did you get nachos too? Oh yeah. We're gonna have a three-way. Oh yeah. There we go. Very nice. Took the souvenir cup. I shouldn't be talking. Let's get a three-way uh, little uh, little tagish here. Pump it up. Bumpin' up, please. All right, it's definitely not sold out, but there's definitely a lot more people than there usually is. All right, first batter at the beginning of the inning. stadium is how low down the dugout is. You can just see Kevin Cash right there. All right, it's the bottom now. Oh, bottom. Excuse me. Sorry, boss. excited about a pop-up to center. Yeah, we were noticing that when everyone was doing the chant, they just turned the music up louder. So people couldn't hear the chant. Did you notice that? I noticed that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't work though. Yeah. The chants are louder than the music is. Well, now they're chanting, stay in Oakland. saying this in a joking way. But is that hair right there a piece of Harold Ramirez's blue hair? Wonder what that would fetch on eBay.
Donald's hair. We need you. Ramirez at the pipe. So you look up top of the sail. Obviously, the Tropicana Field has their upper deck tarped off too. Get this whole section up here. Raleigh Fingers, Stewart, Hunter, Dennis Eckersley, Ricky Henderson. Janet Jackson. I guess Jack White's out there. I hear Seven Nation Army. They did show Billy Joe from Green Day. He's here. Can't figure out where he's sitting though. They showed him on the jungle. of the fifth. Yep. Everyone's supposed to stand. Oh, they are standing. Stand up. They're supposed to stand up. Everybody's standing up. Quiet in here. <laughs> That's a base hit. That's a double for Siri. I don't think the pitcher can hear anything. In the, in the dugout, and all of them were looking at each other like, what in the name of heck is going on? It was so loud in here, but the up called time and went out and talked to the pitcher.
I'll see you. started in Oakland. I never knew that in 10 minutes. the game even though the Oakland A's won everyone here that's rooting for the A's is like throwing stuff on the field just throwing trash out into left and right field full beer bottles water bottles toilet paper trash they feel sorry for the grounds crew that's a clean all that up they're working on the diamond but the outfield is just completely trashed just throwing all kinds of trash out all, all on the field which is kind of weird considering they won but you know obviously a lot of unhappy people the whole the whole event itself centered around not being happy with you know, the owner and the team and they want them to sell the team that way they don't move to Vegas stay here so you can see people definitely people are definitely showing their emotions for understandable reasons and to be honest I'm kind of I'm, I mean I wanted the race to win 100% but I think if any night the Oakland days who are in last place in the division could get a win on this night this is I think it's good for everyone that was here to have a to have a good night so I think it worked out pretty good all right 
that's going to do it for today. Now I got to drive all the way back to Hollywood. But it was fun. My friend Alex had to leave. He had to go to work. So I hit Alex up and I hit Roscoe up two days ago to give you guys notice. Yep. I'm glad you guys made it out. Yeah, man. Thanks for inviting me. You witnessed history. And that was one of the best baseball games I've ever seen in my entire life. And what a crazy atmosphere. And it sucks for Oakland. I mean, I've seen other cities rebound from weirdness, like Detroit, for instance. Yeah. And, you know, think about that city. There's, there's four teams that all play in Detroit. And Detroit had hundreds of thousands of people that left. Oakland, San Francisco, hundreds of thousands of people that have left. And there's still, there's still people here, and it's not, this, this town isn't dead, but it sucks to see these companies just taking their, the teams away from these cities. When there's plenty of, there's plenty of people here that will support them. Oh yeah, as and, shown tonight, there's probably 23, 24,000 people yeah, here. And tonight. I just think that people just don't want to come to the Coliseum. And if you make this place cool, then it, it yeah. will, it will draw the people. Well. Not to have a comparison, a Tropicana Field, Tampa Bay. We have the same issue there, so yeah. I get it. People just like to people like to make excuses and whatnot, but obviously tonight they showed up because it was the reverse boycott. But. Yeah. All right, I got to get to driving. I got a 360 mile commute home. I'll see you in the next video. Good hanging. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. A's up. It's usually it's Ray's up, but A's. <laughs> I'll give it to the A's tonight. The vlog is over. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> In all honesty, 720 miles, or 730 miles, round trip back and forth on an impulse to go to a game. Sometimes it happens. After a very long drive, returning back to my hotel in Hollywood. What a commute. But I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm going to bed now. I'm tired. <laughs>